Hello, so we are back and this time we have a fun job. Let's see what the customer is saying. So the customer is saying, Hey Sorin, got a fun one this time for you. I got a faulty GPU, Asus Strix 3090. When installing to the system, it prevents PC from starting at all. My client has replaced it with a 4080, but would like to see if uh, it's repairable. Is something we can look at? Yeah, we can have a look and try to fix it. Let's see what is inside. So what do we have here? We have a nice GPU, huh? RTX 3090, yeah. Okay, now the question is why a GPU, it will prevent the system to start? Mm -hmm. Because uh, one power rail is shorted? Yeah, that can be a reason. Let's try to open because we really need access to the board. And then you can check even those connectors can be shorted on the 12 volts uh, power rail. And we have access to the motherboard. Good. So first, let's check uh, the 12 volts uh, power rail. So we have ground and we have current resistors, zero ohms, zero. This one is fine, fine, fine. But here we have zero ohms. Coil, zero ohms. Now let me grab the thermal camera. Power supply. Let's lower the voltage. Yeah, zero point nine should be fine. So we have ground, and we have plus. And it's taking like 3 amps. And with 3 amps, what is getting hot is actually the GPU. You can see it. Yeah. So what you see here is actually uh, a dead GPU. The driver is shorted and probably the GPU is dead. Let me raise the voltage. But which driver is shorted? That's the question. I mean, we can check even with, with the GPU but probably it's that anyway let's find the driver let's remove the driver and the, the graphic card should work without the driver uh, the current resistors are getting warm so let me come with the current after the current resistors yeah here and it's taking 3.6 amps you can see which one it is. Check that. You can see it's just slightly warm. Slightly warm. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. So that one is shorted. Let's remove it. This one. It's amazing how this board is sucking the heat. I mean, I'm here with the hot air for like 10 minutes and uh, still I can't take out the chip. Finally. So after removing the chip, we still have short. Let's see. No short, you can see. No short. Here is no short, no short. Nothing. Perfect. The question is, the GPU is working? I mean, I'm pretty sure the GPU is dead, but we should be sure. We should test it. So let me try to put uh, everything back and let's test it. Okay, so the setup is ready. 
uh, we have a little bit of heatsink there. What do we need is the HDMI from the microscope. Good. Now powering up the power supply. Good. Let's start the motherboard. And it's on. And let me switch to microscope. We have picture. That's crazy. Lol. So actually it's working. Ha. Huh. So how the GP is not dead? Mm hmm? So all we have to do is to order another driver and replace it. But I'm quite impressed, you know what I mean? That GPU took like 12 volts with full uh, amount of amps from the from the power supply. I mean, how is not that? Huh? Yeah. Okay, so you know what I'll do? I'll stop now. I'll order the driver and uh, see you see you soon, right? Yeah. So we are about three weeks later, and finally I got the the chips from uh, from China. Now let's see about soldering. Now soldering those chips back, or let's speak about desolder. You desolder a chip, you have hot air. The chip has about same temperature with the board. No matter with what temperature you are coming, like 480 degrees, the chip temperature is rising with the board temperature. But when you solder the chip, because it's not like a thermal contact, even if you put the chip there, so the chip temperature, it will rise quickly to 480 degrees and the, 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 the thermal transfer to the, to the board is very slow. And you can burn the chip, that's the thing. So what we can do about that? We can apply some uh, low melt solder and in this way uh, we are getting the solder melted quickly and it will bond with the solder from the board. Yeah. So I will be using 140 degrees soldering paste. Perfect, right? Yeah, looks like. It is perfect or not, huh? It is. Uh, what I don't like, here is too much solder, you can see. So let me get that solder out. Looking good, right? Yeah, let's solder the chip. So uh, the chip position must be like that. Good. Let me spin the board somehow. Perfect. So what I will do is I will hit the chip a little bit and I will dip the chip uh, inside of the rosin. Perfect. So now we have flux there. Let me raise the air to 60%. The chip got soldered already? Okay. Yeah, and now it's fine, now it's okay. Now it's ready. Perfect, let's get the solder out quickly. Rosin. Perfect. Okay, everything looks good. Let's clean it. Let's 
Like new, right? Yeah. So all good. We soldered that ship successfully. Okay, let me put everything back. I will fast forward the video. Thermal paste. We have to replace the thermal paste. Yeah. Perfect. And now we can put the heat sink back. So I will connect the HDMI from the microscope. Perfect. I need some heat sink on the CPU. Uh, heat sink. Yeah, found it. Found it. Yeah. That's perfect. And all we have to do is to power on, right? I don't remember the power pins. It has to be somewhere here. Yeah. And the board is on. Let me switch to microscope. Let's see. And we have picture. Huh? Working fine. Yeah, CPU fan error. Yeah, yeah, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So all working good. Now, stressing the motherboard and things like that, I don't think is the case because... Uh, it's not like here we have a GPU issue or RAM memory. No, it was a clearly uh, shorted MOSFET. I'm happy I fixed it. Uh, this is ready to go back to the customer. Fixing GPUs is not my thing, but it's okay. We can manage like simple faults like MOSFETs, uh, power issue. We can do it. Okay. So I'm going to say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one. Bye. Hey. If you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.